What's going on, everybody? Tukey here, back again. We have another NHL 23 trailer to break down. This video brought to you by my friends at the EA Creator Network. We're going to go over this video. I'm going to give you my thoughts, but if you want to watch the trailer in full without me pausing it, without talking over it, make sure to click the link in the description. It's also worth noting, of course, for every trailer that they've put out, I have had a reaction video to that you want to go ahead and check those out feel free to do so but for now watch ourselves a trailer for presentation with elias petterson's high definition face look at those eyes have you ever seen such blue eyes in a hockey game i don't think so now stuff like this you know let's um we, we can skip through their description of it but essentially they talk about the old animation and now the idea that when you win the cup, you get the option to say who gets it next, which is pretty damn cool, man. I mean, I know some people were really hoping this was the NHL 2K10 being able to manually skate the cup around type of thing. It is not that, but this is the next best thing in terms of being able to decide who gets it next. There's 65 different uh, commentary lines based upon who you choose. It'll talk about whether or not they're a veteran, a captain, how many points, how many goals. So it's, it is a pretty nice touch. We do have that little bit of confirmation um, or now we do have the confirmation that, you know, a little bit of love and care has been put into the Stanley cup celebration. You know, the extra confetti, um, the crowd isn't dead quiet anymore that's nice how many times did we uh raise the cup in a franchise mode in the past couple of years and we, we've heard more noise in a morgue um uh, worth noting as well just to the left of that lens flare eagle-eyed people on reddit pointed out yesterday with the little teaser clip uh they haven't updated the logo banners uh the florida panthers have had that logo since what 2017 I think, yeah, 2016, 17, and they've never updated that. That's uh, that's a bit of a rough look. But in terms of this, it's it's good. It is. It's good. I'm uh, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, but in terms of him going over like all the little details about, hey, here's this, here's why this. That's just the basic idea. Is yes, you get the ability to decide who gets the cup next. This moment where, and this is true, true wish fulfillment where you finally get to see your name etched on the Stanley Cup, whatever the player. This is pretty damn cool. This is the type of feature that you're going to see on Twitter and Reddit, though, of people going, you had time to add that, but we still don't have this, 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 and this. And in a sense, I agree. Uh, if there are still certain issues within franchise mode in regards to people, uh, you know, the AI teams just having horrible lines and horrible team management in general. Yeah, this is a type of feature where it's like, okay, you maybe could have put that effort elsewhere. But in terms of it being a nice feature, yes. And any time in a trailer, I get to see if you looked just above, you get to see Tim Thomas's name mentioned and Michael Riders and Mark Reckies and Dennis Seidenbergs and everyone from the 2011 Bruins team. It's a good day. The team is, you're ultimately going to see that name etched in the Stanley Cup. I like that they put the Leafs there too. That's 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 smart. That's also smart for the sake of social media. It's a total revamp of one of the greatest moments inside of our game. Also, I'm glad. I don't know if you saw that Joe NHL made the team. We decided to completely revamp this year. So we saw this in a prior trailer uh, here. Now let's let it go. But we saw this in a prior trailer. Hat tricks. The hats being thrown. That was also a part of the uh, the closed tech test that was there. This is something people didn't know about, which is pretty damn cool. Especially for the fact that you can choose whether or not it's hats, but also, say for example, you know, like the Hershey Bears, noted for their teddy bear toss, the uh, Calgary Hitman, a lot of minor league teams for that matter. But yeah, you could have them throw teddy bears instead, which is awesome. Again, another feature that some people might complain about, but I do think that's a really nice touch. We give users the ability to kind of create their own tradition. You can have teddy bears, you can have alien plushies, you can have fish plastic rats and roses the fact like you can have rats is also sweet it is i like that a lot in game day atmosphere really changes the entire game we did a total overhaul of the crowd audio this year when something happens on 
Thank God they overhauled the crowd audio. <laughs> I still don't know if it's quite up to snuff with like uh, an NHL or excuse me, an NBA 2K, but it is better. You'll hear it from the crowd. The home team gets a penalty. The, the home team is going to get on the referee and start booing them. At first, it'll be subtle, but as that penalty differential kind of grows, as do the boos. If you're playing a game where you come back, perhaps you win in the... Is that goalie just hitting the gritty? Is that what I saw there? Completely different animation that is properly representative of how hyped the home team is. The intros were in need of some maintenance. We knew we wanted to add some more. Again, some of these are so great. Just let them breathe. If you're familiar with what we call on ice projections, these big animated graphics that get projected onto the ice during the pregame, we've added them this year. And it's not just for authentic teams, but it's also for World of Chell. That's so damn cool, the fact that it's in World of Chell. And if it's in World of Chell, through the create a, an arena feature, you'd presume it's also in, uh, in franchise mode and everything like that, too, which is awesome. You actually see the fans waving around these awesome light sticks. And those are also fully customizable inside of World of Chell, and each users can change their color. Again, people will say, like, oh, I added this, whatever. Different departments, though, too. And I'm glad we finally had the presentation take that next step forward. I, I really have no critique at this point. I just think this is cool as hell. Like, how exciting is it going to be when we get to next May? Who knows? But for now, it is a nice little touch. This incredible atmosphere. We're That's just cool, man. Anthems. We got it back, boys. We did it. I have been on the train of begging and pleading and begging some more. Can we please get the goddamn anthems back? And they're back. Small touches like this, though. And I've talked about it for so long. Small touches like this is what made the presentation in old EA and 2K games just kick the crap out of what we've had from the EA NHL series for a while now. Um, you know, even when they had the NBC license, you know, I still felt like there was a bit being uh, left on the table. I, I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's just cool as shit. Is the final few chords of the respective national anthem, and the players will be lined up at their respective blue lines. In World of Chell and Eshel, users will be able. The fact you can put the national anthems in Eshel, they don't have all of them from the looks of it, but the fact that you can have them in Eshel too, and again, it's just like, oh, here's the intro, the final few notes of the anthem or whatever, but it's just a nice touch. It's just a good touch. Whichever flag they the best touch. The major hockey nations. This year we also, we said all the major hockey nations. So uh, if your nation was there, cool. If it wasn't, and you felt like it should have been, EA is saying you can kick rocks. Done, kind of fully 3D with AR, and we continue using kind of that face-off moment. That's also cool. To show the user meaningful stats, but not slow the gameplay down. Really, it's about the leaderboard giving you so many interesting... So that's a nice touch again. Show things like top scorers on your team, top hitters, top assists, top points. It's all about the players and learn to bring it home through getting the proper... Show me Elias Pedersen's face again. Charlie McAvoy, look at those cheeks. Look at those goddamn cheeks. By aligning with the other sports... Sidney Crosby's beard. A massive amount of engineering power that we can access it does look good it is the best that like, ea nhl has ever looked oh skin skin that's that's the thing that's gonna get everyone hyped skin shaders <laughs> i mean he looks fucking ridiculous doesn't he epidermis and hitting the oil first time the epidermis has ever been mentioned by the way in an NHL trailer. We can simulate sort of mild exertion without them looking too greasy, of course. And then we without them looking too greasy. <laughs> it's hockey, buddy. Everyone's greasy. Come on now. Also, so it represents like the spec response of light that goes to the cornea and you get all this sense. Of Again, that's stuff that 
you're obviously not going to notice when the gameplay is going on. So again, a lot of people be like, eh, whatever. It's nice to have it though, in a sense. It is nice to have it. I know people really like metal things. People love shiny things. People like metal things. People like shiny things. <laughs> what is this trailer? Us pushing our new shading models to the limit. There you go. The Vegas Golden Knights will have the gold reflective helmets. I believe the Kings, I think they'll show it in a second, I'm sure, will have the silver uh, reflective helmets. And we have a metal option for recolorable helmets so users can... So, man, you wanted the uh, the visors back. Well, guess what? You're getting shiny helmets, too. ...equipment so they can have metal helmets or metal gloves. A fan favorite, you can pick a mirrored visor within the customization. Floor. There it is. Super cool. You can go all metallic. The fact that apparently that was a mistake in 22 and they took it out, but now have re-added it. I don't know if it was a mistake. I don't know the story behind that, but congrats to G20. <laughs> we're getting realistic visualizations of equipment and we're bringing them into the game. New unique geometry for goalie gear, player helmets, player skates, and player gloves. They finally updated what the equipment looks we've like. Also Thank God. About 200 new vanity items, and we've been updating. Yeah, nobody cares about those. To represent more diverse ethnic backgrounds, we have a. a That's positive. Of women being represented, not just in our star heads, but in our generic head pool as well. Very positive. Ice resolution upgrades. So Good work. Really hold up on the 4K televisions, and we also have ice displacement that happens on the ice, so you get this realistic ice buildup that accumulates around the goalie. All I can hear, I'm sorry, is just the complaints on the different comment sections about who gives a shit, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, it's a presentation trail. What'd you expect? All I can hear is arguments that haven't happened yet as I'm recording this. We felt that really helped bring out the personality of the ice. Thanks, David and Aaron, for walking us through presentation. There you go. That is that. All in all, for a presentation-based trailer, good. It's good. I don't think there are too many other things in terms of presentation, and that's what I'm most intrigued by by putting up this video. In terms of presentation and presentation only, was there something that they did not mention that you were hoping to see? Because I feel like for the big wish list that the community has had for quite a while now, we're checking a lot of them off. The pregame intros, the anthems, they're there. Like I said, I'm just hoping it's not like, all right, you got three seconds in the anthem, and here's right to the face off. Like, let those moments breathe a little bit. But in terms of presentation, I do think they knock it out of the park. And I do still think that the comment sections in regards to this are going to be a fucking nightmare. But all in all, I'm fairly happy with the direction that they've taken. I feel like they are making the most out of, you know, here's another year on Frostbite. Here's your second year on the next-gen consoles, if not the third year. It's the second year, isn't it? I am, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. A lot of these things do add up over time. I agree, a lot of the bigger things, still maybe not where we'd want it. But in presentation sense, I am pretty happy with this. Let me know what you think. Again, you can check out the full, uh, you know, the full trailer in the description if you don't want to hear me talk over it. But again, let me know what you think in regards to presentation and presentation only. Did they hit the mark for you? I'll see you guys next time, whenever there's more NHL 23 news to talk about. And again, when NHL 23 drops, Gonna have a lot more NHL content up here on this channel. Franchise Mode will be back over here as well. I'm taking a bit of a break right now because your boy got burned out finally. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.